a look at some of the changes that have taken place in workshop since the 1950s with photographs from the camera of Peter Pearson who left behind a superb collection documenting many changes which would otherwise have been lost forever. Let's start in one of the oldest parts of Worksop, Abbey Street. In this photo from the 50s, looking north, you can see the Royal Oak Pub on the left. Here, on Peter's slide, looking the other way, you can see the remnants of the old Abbey Street, including the Royal Oak. In the foreground, the new flats are being built. These turned out to be a disaster and themselves were demolished in the 1980s to be replaced by the present buildings. Let's move into town and back to 1900. Here we're looking at the Watson Road Junction with Bridge Place. The three shops on the right are all owned by the co-op and in 1959 Peter captured their descendants being pulled down to be replaced by a new department store which you can see already going up on the left of this shot. 30 years later, in 1989, the same thing is happening all over again. Only this time, the replacement building is not a department store, but a mixture of shops, cafes, nightclubs and offices, none of which have stood the test of time. Along Watson Road at the Newcastle Street Junction, we see two shops from pre-1996 of the Victorian Hospital, which was opened in 1900. After its demolition in 96, the site was developed into a small retail park, which now includes Asda. Back into town and the Netherholm Precinct, with a couple of shots of the old Rockford's nightclub which should stir memories for a few of you. This is now all part of the Priory Centre. On to Eastgate and St John's Girls School at the bottom of Sherwood Road, behind which you can see the tower of the fire station. This site is now occupied by flats. And here is the fire station, on land previously occupied by the Workshop Workhouse although in its latter years it was given the more gracious name of the Victoria Hall. Bridge Place and North Knotts Farmers, with just a glimpse of Morris's wallpaper and paint shop on the corner of Watson Road, now occupied by Apple and the British Heart Foundation. A slightly out of focus Bridge Place, but worth including as it's a rare view of how nice Bridge Place used to look compared to today's assortment of mismatched styles. Prizewell Road and the Canch, and what remained of the Canch Mill. The children's paddling pool from the 1940s, now replaced by the Fountain Splash Pool. Finally to Central Avenue and the rear of the Central Hall, as it was originally called, although it went through many names during its lifetime. This much used building had shops on two sides on the ground floor, a dance hall stroke club on the first floor, and the outside rear stairs leading up to a shoe factory on the top floor. The whole site was cleared in 1991 and is now occupied by the Halifax Bank. To finish a few shots of sites largely unchanged by time, I'm sure you'll recognise them. 